A foundation, frame, and house siding is not a living organism. It does not have to factor in executing precise actions based on muscle tissue moving in time to a beat, which is reacting to and following the orders of an eight pound hunk of fat full of chemicals and electrical impulses that are reacting to and interpreting little black dots sprayed on the page by a 19th century deaf person who thinks they can hear. Hi, my name is Clay, and welcome to Musical Listening. And for that matter, what is musical listening in the first place? If listening is always two things at once, if it is always a singular dichotomy, then it is not enough to just listen or just be musical. If you want to improve, if you want to get better, if you want to see your technique move forward, you must musically listen. When you are practicing, you must be your own self analyzer. You are the producer, the artist, the engineer, the analyst, the critic, all of it. Are you producing what you know to be valuable and entertaining? If I decide to just be musical, well, who knows? Maybe something good comes, maybe it doesn't. I don't mean to wordsmith and split hairs. I am using these two phrases, musical listening and just be musical, to juxtapose and present an idea, to make a distinction. The idea is that there is a difference between on the one hand, just being full of musical energy and exploding onto the audience or exploding into the instrument versus proactively listening to what you are doing and assessing while you are exploding onto the audience. <laughs> exploding isn't bad. In fact, it's important that at the end of all this, we do that very thing, release all of our musical energy into the instrument unleash it on the audience and just be musical. When we are learning though, when we are trying to teach ourselves in the practice room, that is something different. Learning a musical instrument in the absence of music though is folly. Great artists don't paint a full picture in black and white and then color it in later. Why do we? Well, we love layers, we love process, we love steps. What's not to love? These things bring order and efficiency to our lives. Step one, step two, etc. Do this, then do that, then go here. Easy. Who hasn't heard this analogy? Build the foundation, then put the frame on the foundation, then put the house around the frame. Love it. Can't get enough, right? So easy and clean and neat. And because it's so easy and clean and neat, we use it to teach and learn music. In fact, we have used it so much that we can't help but use it. Go ahead and try this week talking about learning music. Try talking about foundation and fundamental without separating music and without separating music from technique. How'd you do? It is ingrained in us because it was ingrained in the people who taught us and the people who taught them. There is one slight problem though. A foundation, frame, and house siding is not a living organism. It does not have to factor in executing precise actions based on muscle tissue moving in time to a beat, which is reacting to and following the orders of an eight pound hunk of fat full of chemicals and electrical impulses that are reacting to and interpreting little black dots sprayed on the page by a 19th century deaf person who thinks they can hear. No, a house does not do this. And thus a human, a learning human, needs something else. We need a new analogy. In that learning space, you must musically listen while you are playing. It's not a later thing or an add-on. It's a necessary fundamental that should come at the beginning along with all other fundamentals we know and love. When I musically listen, something is different. I am focused. I am proactive. I am executing the plan and getting the desired outcomes. Thanks again for watching. If You've been getting good stuff out of this. If you've been following along, hit the like button. Uh, please subscribe and leave a comment. What's working for you? How is musical listening starting to change your practice and change your playing? And what are you struggling with? What do you feel like your hangups are with getting a deeper connection to listening to your instrument or listening to your own playing? I mean, that's, that's what we're here for in this community to help each other. So ask those questions and let's move forward. More musical listening to come. See you in the next one.